Good morning, good people. I am up. It's not, it's not early. It's actually uh, 11 o'clock, but I'm up and I'm headed to the car dealership to get an oil and filter change. <clears throat> kind of dreading it. Um, not dreading getting my oil change. I mean, that's normal. That's something that you got to get done, but y'all know how you know that you need stuff done in your car, work done in your car, and you know they're gonna just come out and give you these long lists of stuff that you need to get done and make you feel even worse about the fact that you're not getting it done today. That's pretty much where I am. And on top of that, I dread the additional items that they may tell me is wrong with my car. So anyway, um, like I know they're gonna say you need brakes. Well, I know I need brakes. I mean, they're not horrible, but I know I need brakes. But I've been trying to hold out um, until I get my new tires, and that's probably gonna be another month. Um, so I wanna get like my brakes and my tires and everything related to that, you know, the alignment, the balance, and everything related to that whole area done um, at the same time. But, you know, I don't want to wait too late because you don't want to wait till your brakes get so bad till they're digging into your rotors. I mean, I said that like I'm a for real, for real car person. Like, I don't know nothing about cars, y'all. I mean, I know a little something because I've had, what, four cars in my life? I have four, three cars and an SUV. So, I know a little something, you know. But uh, anyway, I know they're gonna say I need new tires, but I don't get tires from the dealership. Mm, no, I have to go to my spot. Yeah, that's all I can think that they're gonna tell me. But again, you know, you go to the dealership and they lay a whole long laundry list of things out. Like you got money to be blowing on this at the current time. Would you like to get this done today? No, nope, no. I would not like to get this done today unless y'all handing out car repairs for free. That's all I'm saying. Because the way my pockets and my check is set up, it's saying we got too much other stuff to take care of besides these little frivolous repairs that y'all talking. If brakes and that type of thing is not frivolous, but I'm talking about, you know, you know, they'll come at you. You know, you need a wing ding nut. A wing ding nut? I don't need no wing ding nut today. I plan to sell some things, um, some clothing items, specifically baby clothing and shoes. I plan to put them on Craigslist for a minimal. Obviously my child has not been a baby for quite a while, but her clothing, I came across it the other day when I was purging things in my garage and I packed them away very nicely, very neatly. They still look in great condition they're I mean they're not like infant clothes they're you know clothes from when she was younger um, but anyway they look great um, they're clean um, I took very good care of them she just had so many clothes when she was younger which she still does that we didn't have to repeat outfits very often at all so some of this stuff still has brand new tags on it. But anyway, I plan to sell it on, um, some of it at least, if I can, on um, on Craigslist. And if it doesn't sell, that's cool too. I'll either give it to Goodwill for a donation. I mean, I'll, give, I'll either give it to Goodwill and write it off or I will, um, I might, I'm, I'm thinking about going to maybe drop the clothes off at a battered women's shelter here in Jacksonville. Um, I've just been wanting to, and actually it's one of my resolutions, to do more things for and in my community. And so, yeah, um, I think that would be awesome. So, yeah, I, I might do that. Um, we'll see. Um, if not... I'll definitely drop off some stuff. I don't know about all of it, but some of it.
y'all i am done at the dealership i was here a lot longer than i wanted to be here especially just for an oil and filter change but it's done so i'm happy um y'all know they came through with the with the laundry list of items just like i said they would but you know they actually didn't tell me anything that I didn't already know except um, that I basically need to look into getting a new battery but I informed them that um, I had just gotten a new battery just last year and it was under warranty so they had to call the other Nissan dealership and get that information from them to verify and sure enough um, it's under warranty so praise be to Jesus I don't have to come up off some coins for that because we already know we don't even need to discuss what your girl financial situation is so um anywho I'm going to get me something to eat like I'm starving and I cannot stand when I like somebody's in my car and they uh, mess up my settings like it drives me nuts now I feel like my car is just not right because my seat somebody has moved my seat somebody has moved my mirrors these all men that work at this dealership I mean it should have been just fine and I don't mean moved it like back because you know most guys they move they get in the car and they move the seat all the way back and no it's all the way like this is not cool. I got to pull over to the side of the road and adjust this because I'm not about this life at all. Um, and my mirror. What the heck is going on with my mirror? What are they doing? See, that's why you don't. Uh, I got to. I got to. I'm going to pull over in somebody's parking lot and fix my, fix my vehicle because it's not about the right. And I don't know what I'm going to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. Me so hungry. Me so hungry. What am I gonna eat, man? Think, 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 think. Think, 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 think. I probably should have went back the other way. But I'm not trying to spend too much money because, um, yeah. I decided I'm gonna get me some Chinese food. Um, but first, I gotta make a stop. So I completely forgot that I promised my coworker the same lady whose birthday we celebrated at bahama breeze and like i don't know how many videos ago well i promised her that i would go to the store on my side of town or any side but the south side and um get her some pig ears She's making a dish that involves pig ears. She's not making it for me. She's making it for her family or either an organization that she's a part of. But anyway, it involves pig ears. And you can't get that kind of stuff on the south side and out, out there at the beach. Because it's, it's extra bougie over there. You know? It, it really is. And that's where she lives. So... Um, she always, not always, it's only happened maybe two or three times, and I don't mind because I love her to death, but um, she always kind of asked me, like, if I wouldn't mind picking her up, like, certain items that she knows she cannot get from her side of town, and, she, and also, she's terrified of going over bridges, which we've had this conversation, if you've seen my, pre my previous vlogs, I've discussed this, she's not from here, she actually moved to Jacksonville with the company years and years ago and nobody told her about the bridge situation and Jacksonville is the river city we are full of bridges that's just how we living over here so I help her out you know and you know sometimes I'll go to the store for her, especially when she needs food things that that you can only get on the more ethnic, more urban sides of town. I'm about to run in here to see if I can 
see if they even sell um these pig ears in this store i'm over here off of beaver street y'all I don't, I don't live nowhere near beaver street but i'm over here off of beaver street listen if you if you're from jacksonville or you live in jacksonville for any significant length of time and you know about beaver street you a g that's all i gotta say i haven't been over here in forever myself but i'm over here off of beaver street i don't even know how i got over here but you are a true G if you know about Beaver Street. And, I, and on top of that, look, you even more of a G if you know about Premier. Ask anybody from Jacksonville. Anybody from Jacksonville. Old school, like gotta be in their 30s and older. Ask them about Premier. Premier Foods. And I'm at Premier. And for those of y'all who are watching my videos, um, Premier still exists in Jacksonville. They actually have two separate stores like look at this they got a premier meats store and then across over on this side they got a premier fish market like premier trying to get fancy kind of sort of not really because they can't be fancy because if you know about premier you know why they can't be fancy okay Matter of fact, I'm gonna take y'all in here and see if I can get a little bit of footage so y'all can see this 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 the type of premier is premier is like going into a hole in the wall and getting you something to eat. That's premier. That's it's the hole in the wall of grocery stores. That's a great way to describe premier. It's like going to the deepest, darkest depths to get you some food. And everybody in here for the most part pay with food stamps. Don't judge people. Get it how you live. Don't judge. We all been there, done that. Moving on. Cut them off. After Lena went in the house, as soon as Lena got that door, somebody, they beat her up. Six girls. And some turkey wings, and that's it, brother. You want some back round This is where I get them from. What you say? She be back round at them? The next day, baby, she was like this, ready for them. Nobody would come. Make it so bad. Bond left home. Everybody left. Nobody was seen that day. Nobody. Bowen left his house, ain't come back until late, late that night. Tamara went seen for a week. And she and my soul in all the same. Operation Search for Pig Ears Success. Did y'all see what Premier is all about? I just gave y'all just a slight glimpse. A slight glimpse. Like I should have really showed y'all the whole store. And I, I showed I went across the street to the to the to the seafood part too. Y'all, it's going down in Premier. Like that's how they operate. Hey, hey everything sold. By the piece, by the pound, however, however your money works, that's how it's sold over here. And it's always extra cheap. So 